Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick video on how I carry my full-size Beretta 92FS as my everyday carry gun. And real quick, I'm going to do a quick safety check. As you can see, the magazine is empty. Nothing in the chamber. The weapon is clear. I'm going to keep this magazine in it so that it simulates the size it is when I carry it. And these are the Beretta 17 round magazines. Now, to carry something this big actually isn't all that difficult. Uh, a lot of people say that it's a big gun, that it's a heavy gun, and it is. In comparison to a lot of the polymer guns out there nowadays, it is heavy. But personally, I like the weight. I'm not a huge fan of polymer frames, just my personal preference, nothing against you if you do like polymer frames, I'm just not a huge fan of them. Now. To carry something this big and this heavy, first you need a good belt and a good holster. So I'm going to show you what I have and we'll go on from there. So here's my belt. This is the DeSantis Fancy Stitch Leather Belt. It flexes a little bit, which some people don't like belts like that. Some like the ones that you cannot uh, bend at all. And to me, uh, I like the little bit of flex at least right now, because to me it makes it comfortable. It's nothing that's jabbing into me while I'm walking around about my day. Now this one here is one and three quarter inches wide, so it's a quarter inch wider than typical belts. And of course it's not a dress belt, uh, but this is the belt I carry. I did a review on this and I will put the link right here. Here's the holster I use. This is a Blackhawk holster. It has an adjustment right here for retention. This is the right hand model. They sell a left hand model. You have a screw right here that you can loosen to adjust the cant if you so desire. Uh, I did a review on this too and I will post the um, link to the review right here. And just to show you, this is my spare magazine carrier and this is once again another empty magazine. I'm just using this right now so I can show you how I carry this as well. Now. First thing is, of course, the belt, then the spare magazine carrier. This is an inside the waistband type. And here, this is an important thing for me, I make sure that the buckle is as far to the left as possible. So as you can see, the keeper right here cannot go any more this way. Now from here, I'm just going to put this through the, last, the rest of my loops and I'll show you where I would put the holster. So now, I have through the rest of my belt loops, I'm just going to show you now where I put the gun and the holster. I carry appendix, so I put it right here. Belt goes through the belt loop. Buckle gets attached, and there we go. Now I like putting this at about the one o'clock position, right here. I don't like it right in front because then I find that it can get in the way when I'm going about my daily life. So I like it about one o'clock right here. It keeps it right between the crease of the leg and as you can see, okay, it's not getting in my way. So when you're concealing something this large, I'm going to put this on safe right now, the size from here to here is not the issue. The grip is. So. The grip is what will make it the harder part to conceal. But it's really not that big an issue because what I do is I push it down a bit so it's more in line with the belt. Now this t-shirt I'm wearing, this is an extra large, so it's one size larger than I would normally wear. And that's one thing that makes concealing something this large easier. For the pants, of course, you're going to need two inches larger in the waist than you would normally wear, but you're going to need that anyways no matter what kind of gun it is, if you are carrying inside the waistband. So, if you're wearing like a heavyweight shirt or a shirt like this, this is a button-up shirt, and it's a fairly heavy shirt, something that, you know, you could typically go around uh, perhaps when it's a little bit colder, you need long sleeves. Uh, you can go around in it and no one's going to question it. Or you can even just, what I do is sometimes I'll wear a shirt like that, I just roll up the sleeves. No one even bats an eye if, you know, it's the kind of weather where everyone's wearing pants. No one cares. Now one thing I also do to make it easier is I typically 
As you see, I have an undershirt on, and I typically always have an undershirt on. It just makes it more comfortable, it doesn't have to do necessarily with the size of the gun, just because the holster I use is leather along with a mag pouch, so it just makes it more comfortable for me. Now, as you can see, I have the shirt on that I was just showing you, and with the heavier material, it disappears even more. So now, if you are wearing something like a hoodie or a jacket, and this is my Walking Dead hoodie that my niece, nephews, sister, and brother-in-law just bought me. They know I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead. Uh, so, when you're wearing a hoodie, as you can see, close it up. Now, even more, it doesn't show, especially since in the appendix position, it's right there, right where the pocket is. So, even if there is a little bit of bulge, it doesn't really matter because, you know, there's a pocket there, so it doesn't matter for the most part. No one's going to question it. And a quick note on when I wear a hoodie, what I do is I tuck the shirt in behind the gun. So that way, if I do have to draw, I only have to raise up the hoodie and not the hoodie and the t-shirt. And then if I have to take the hoodie off, I just go to the bathroom real quick, get in a stall, pull the shirt out, and then I'm good to go. Uh, you can also, from here, what I've been known to do is just pull the shirt out like this. Make sure the gun stays covered like this, so just grab the shirt. And with the mag pouch it becomes a little bit more difficult, but if you're not carrying a mag pouch there, it's not as hard, then we just take the hoodie off and we're good to go. Also, what I've been known to do is if it's somewhere where I expect I'm going to have to take my hoodie off, then I just keep the hoodie open just like this, and from here, the shirt untucked. Now, if I had to take my hoodie off, well, big deal. You know, it comes off, the gun doesn't show, no one freaks out. Now, when you are wearing a winter coat, it's even easier because the winter coat will cover even more. Uh, as you see, there are many ways to work at concealing something this large. Now, if you are someone who likes to carry back here, this can work as well. Uh, I don't like carrying back here because to me, I just like the gun up here where I can more easily control it. I don't really like cross draw either because I just think that there's too many disadvantages. Appendix carry is what I like. But as you can see, if you are someone who does like to carry back here, it can conceal well. Right now, I would just have to adjust the cant on my holster, but it could work. So that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing really too high tech in the way of carrying it. Uh, I hope this was helpful and informative. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.